Hey everyone, it's Eric from Firearm Tutorials again, and today I'm going to talk about snap caps, um, how to use them, what you should use them for, and um, you know we'll go from there. So um, snap caps are basically just dummy rounds that you can use to test um, firearm functionality. You can use for practice. Um, so what I have here is a dummy round in each of these magazines. They're usually a funky color so that you don't uh, confuse them with normal ammunition, like so. And uh, what I have here is actually a different kind of dummy round. If you uh, don't want to buy these little plastic ones, I mean, they're not expensive. They usually come, uh, you know, in a pack of like two or five or something, and they're, you know, five, like a couple bucks or five bucks for a five pack or something. Um, this looks like a real round, but basically what it is is a round without a primer and without any powder. So we, we basically achieve the same functionality of a snap cap, um, you know, basically on the cheap. And so that is the deal with that. So let's take a look at using a snap cap. Obviously it functions like every other round as it's been designed. You see in the chamber locks in the chamber. Um, if we wanted to do a chamber check here, we pull it back, we see that there's something in there. Um, obviously it ejects like a normal round, and uh, you know, that's it. One of the reasons that you may want to use these, depending on what kind of gun you have or what your belief is on this, is a lot of people say, or I guess some people say, that um, if you continuously dry fire the gun, it's going to wear out the firing pin or the firing pin spring, and supposedly using a snap cap will um, reduce the, the wear and tear on those parts. I don't personally believe that, but um, you know, it's up to you whether you want to go with that. But mainly, what I use them for is just to check the functionality of the weapon. So, for instance, the magazines, um, the follower is the uh, bottom part of the magazine that the bullets rest on and that is what actually locks the slide back on the last round. So um, if I get a new gun or, or a used gun, I do this on used guns a lot um, to check the magazines. So I'll load um, a couple a couple rounds usually in each magazine, load one into the chamber and cycle them and just make sure that the slide locks back on the last round. And um, if it doesn't, it's usually a problem with the follower. So that's it. Um, obviously, the functionality is the same no matter what caliber you're using. And I'm going to use these in the USP here. So there you can see brass, of course. I have a different video on chamber checks, but you should perform that every time you pick up a gun. And obviously, we get the same result um, with that. So that's the uh, quick and dirty on snap caps. And uh, thanks for watching.